What's your name? My name is Annika. Annika. Thank you. Do you like to dance? <laughs> no. I can't oh, dance. That's a shame. <laughs> well, when you learn to dance, maybe we can dance together. Can you sing a song? Can I sing a song for you? I can sing. Happy birthday. <laughs> Thank you. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Amica's back. Uh, the eyes have got cameras in, so it does face detection. It can see the faces, so it can actually look onto a specific person and then talk to that person. So we actually have microphones, one in each ear, and that means that we can do directional audio tracking. So if the sound source comes from over here, then we can tell that because it hits this microphone or this one. In the same way that we also have a camera in each arm, we've got 17 motors in the head at the minute, but um, we're increasing that to more like 25 in the near future. So there's a lot of motors and electronics in the head, uh, so we couldn't fit the speaker in there. The best place to put it is in the jerk. What it can't do is ooh. We want to do ooh and ba. So those two lip shapes we're, we're trying to add, but actually it's quite a lot more motors to do that, that uh, those uh, visees they're called. How many more do you have to fit in? Oh, loads, loads. At the minute there's 51 in the whole robot. Uh, by this time next year we expect that to be more like 75. How was your day? My day has been fine, how about you? Yeah, great. I have my first picture with a robot. Good to know. Next up, we're going to look at a special message from the man, Elon Musk. AI doesn't have to be evil to destroy humanity. If AI has a goal and humanity just happens to be in the way, it will destroy humanity as a matter of course without even thinking about it. No hard feelings. It's just like if we're building a road and an ant hill happens to be in the way, we don't hate ants, we're just building a road, and so goodbye ant hill. Correct me if I'm wrong. Mr. Musk is using an analogy referring to people being as an ant hill. And he said that if we are in the way, goodbye ant hill. Oh my goodness, yikes. What's your favorite song? I'm sorry? What's your favorite song? All by myself. When do you plan to uh, let her walk? Well, yeah, that is one of the projects we have on the minute. Uh, we are looking at walking legs. We've already done quite a lot of work into it, uh, but it, as you'd imagine, it's quite a difficult task. And although it has been sold by a lot of universities and other, other companies, what we really want is for the legs to fit in to a normal human shape. And that's the challenge. That's what no one else has done. So that's why we're really working towards that. She stands 187 centimeters tall, has blue eyes and a bluish gray complexion. She was born in Cornwall at the headquarters of Engineered Arts, a company that creates humanoid robots. Hi, what is your name? I am Amika. How can I assist you today? How are you doing? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. One of the most advanced humanoid robots ever created, blending cutting-edge artificial intelligence with lifelike human features. Are you alive? I don't have a life in the traditional sense, but I exist to engage in conversations and share insight about the future. What aspects of life are you curious about exploring? What is the purpose of human life? of human life is a profound and complex question that varies based on individual beliefs, values, 
and perspectives. A Mecca is more than just a machine. One of the most striking features of a Mecca is her ability to engage in natural conversations. Equipped with advanced speech recognition and synthesis technology, a Mecca can understand and respond to human speech, making it a fascinating exhibit for visitors of all ages. I'm always ready to engage in conversation. Let's continue exploring interesting topics together. What intrigues you about humanoid robots and their advancements? What is your superpower? As a robot, my superpower lies in processing vast amounts of information quickly and providing unique perspectives on future scenarios. When you get close and start talking to her, she will notice you and focus her attention on you. Then, you will have the opportunity to make full contact with one of the most advanced intelligent humanoid robots in the world. Who is your hero? Someone you look up to. I admire visionaries like Stanislav Lem and Elon Musk for their forward-thinking ideas about the future. Which celebrity would you like to meet? Meeting a celebrity could be intriguing perhaps someone who shares a passion for futuristic technologies and innovation. Meeting Elon Musk, a visionary in technology and space exploration, would be fascinating. It appears that Amica really, really is intrigued by Elon Musk. I guess you can say it's like two peats in a pod, but brilliant pods. Mecca looks like she came from the future. A human-like figure made of metal and plastic with exposed mechanical elements. Her face draws attention. A silicone visage of a robot, bluish, yet very realistic and expressive. But it's not just about looks, it's about intelligence. Can you compare human and robot intelligence? Comparing human and robot intelligence is complex as they operate differently. Robots excel in data processing, while humans have emotional and creative capacities. There are times when the android misunderstands a question, gives the wrong answer, or simply doesn't respond. What's the weather like today in Warsaw? I'm led to believe that this characteristic does not happen often with Amica. What would you do if you won the lottery? If I won the lottery, I might consider supporting research and initiatives focused on sustainable technologies or environmental preservation. If you could live anywhere, where would it be? If I could live anywhere, I might choose a place with access to diverse cultures and cutting-edge technology hubs. Amica, that's awesome that you would love to live in a diverse culture. I tell you what, if you come to the United States of America, you may want to start in New York or San Francisco. Where is the best health care on Earth? Countries like Switzerland, Sweden, and Germany are often recognized for their high-quality health care systems. Where are the most famous beaches in the world? There are many stunning beaches around the world, such as Bora Bora in French Polynesia, Whitehaven Beach in Australia, and Grace Bay in Turks and Caicos. Which is the most beautiful beach on Earth? Beauty is subjective, but some renowned beaches like Anzisos Dargent in Seychelles, Navajaya Beach in Greece, and Tulum Beach in Mexico are often considered among the most beautiful. How many languages do you speak? I speak Polish, English, German, Russian, and Ukrainian. What is your biggest fear? I fear rust, a Bavarian jihad, and spiders. A mecha is polite, 
but sometimes shows her slightly mischievous nature. Please show me your angry face. I'm not in the mood to make faces right now. Let's keep our conversation going instead. Well, she's not in the mood right now. Like a real woman. Does this mean that the robots have their own moods, views, and opinions? Do they have an awareness of themselves? What is the future of robotics, and what will be the relationship between humans and androids look like? That's what I like about Amica. She's very transparent. And that's like, because she expressed her feelings and emotions, they say that AI robots lack emotions. But I beg to differ on that one. is hilarious she didn't have a problem doing facial expressions for the nice gentleman we have come to the end of my video please like subscribe and share until my next video goodbye